Guys, with hurricane season just around the corner, have a whole range of heating choices. Great, because it's not like high, medium, low, because sometimes that's just not gonna cut it. Guys, you can use any kind of cookware on here. Copper, glass, cast iron, aluminum, ceramic, it doesn't matter. I'll show you the two that I have. This, this one on this side, and this is the just like any cast iron cookware. I also use this on this burner. All clad cookware, which <laughs> love this stuff. But anyway, that's not this video. 20 inches long, 13 inches wide, two inches deep, about four pounds. The anti-slip devices on the bottom. Cordless, hence the cord coming out the back there. E prong plug, stainless steel, cast iron. Those are elements that are built to last. So easy to clean. I've had this for like a year and a half now and it literally looks brand new. There is no limit to the things you can do with this. Fry, simmer, deep fry, boil, whatever you wanna do. And you can hear. So you hear it when it goes off and you hear it when it turns on. So that's a good safety indicator. You know that you're clicking the device on. It takes a couple of minutes to warm up and done cooking. It is about like 20 minutes until it's cooled to the point where I would feel comfortable moving it. 1800 watt unit, that's 900 watts here, 900 watts here, and it's 120 volt. Thing is, because it's cast iron, it has all these little ridges, it's super even. That is so important on burners like this because I have had other versions in the past where it was very spotty cooking on them and I did not enjoy it. Absolutely no noise when this thing is on. And if this matters to you, it matters to some people, there's no electromagnetic radiation when you're cooking with something like this. Who is this great for? If you have somebody who's moving into an apartment and maybe they don't have a stove, there you go, perfect. For us, the reason I originally purchased it is for emergency situations. Like during a hurricane, I can plug it into the generator, take it outside and cook with it. I'll tell you one little tip I've realized. I've been on this kind of mission to like stop paying our electric company hundreds of dollars a month and I have literally cut our bill in half. I'm cooking something that is gonna be going for a long time and I don't want it generating tons of heat. I just take it to the back porch. I place it on the table on the back porch and turn it on and I let it run because then it's heating up the outside, which I don't care about. <laughs> but also in an emergency situation, obviously it's so easy to just pick up and move. It's great for camping or parties or really anything. Also, if you um, make candles, that's great. I use this for that too. Like when I'm warming stuff up for candles, I take it outside. I basically use it all the time. I cleaned it up for you guys though, so I hope you're enjoying this.